All right, happy Tuesday afternoon. Let's do a combination end of the day chart and me recording the trades for our analytics. So let's go. So first of all, I always measure the IB high. That's not a trade because we, we were already there. So the IB high doesn't give me anything. Not the IB high, the overnight high. The overnight low came here, vomit straight through. Let's just check this trade real quick. And just make sure that it was a vomit straight through. Certainly a vomit straight through. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to mark this as Tuesday. This was during the AM trading. This was the overnight low. And what do I call that for trend? I think it's chop. I think it's chop because this would be the first ladder. I can't call that with trend. So I'm going to call that in chop. It is certainly a full loser. What I do is I come in here and highlight that. Then I come over and I will screenshot this so I can have it in my records for long term. Drop this in here. Now, this was also after liquidity grab and two eight point candles. And in fact, I want to measure one more thing from here to here. Would that have been a third eight point candle? Actually, it would have. So three eight point candles. And then we're going to go to a special situation up here because under special situation, I'm going to call this as an eight point candle, no trade zone, eight point candle, no trade zone. Um, I wouldn't call that a break in trade. Okay. So boom, loser, uh, there was no other trade there. Then we came down and, um, boy, I really should have been tracking the strong levels, but I'm not, I think I'm, I'm just not, we know they're very successful. So here we go up, no two candle clearance. This is a backside. And that was the entry I took right there. I front ran that just a little bit, um, with the trend. In fact, I actually had three orders, but it only got me into one of them, which is one reason I front run. So let's talk about that for one second. So there's a fair value gap right here. When I really want to be in the trade, I will have one contract just before the wick here. One contract because I want to get in it because if it's going to be a strong move, it probably won't even fill the fair value gap. So let's measure this. Actually, let me turn on magnet tool because I'm not exactly stop I'm not exactly right there off the wick so certainly that's a trade this is end of the day chart so I'm going to make a little note here this was a three minute backside fair value gap Plus, I'm going to put strong level because that does need to be, in my opinion, denoted because uh, it was an extra reason I certainly entered the trade. Okay, so Tuesday, New York lunch. NTZ is really a no trade zone. I'm going to find out if that's really 100% accurate. <laughs> um, so we're going to see. Backside. <laughs> Pardon me. Backside. This was um, first ladder, second ladder. So I'm going to call this backside with the trend. Best entry was a wick. It was a touch and go. It was with the trend. Second ladder. Jeez. Um, 
It's either second or third. Man. I'm going to go third because on a one, one minute is what we were watching. It was definitely a third um, on there. On this, though, I would still count it the third. Um, five point profit potential. Yes. Uh, so let's take a screenshot of this. I want to make sure this is probably in it. I want a screenshot of that. And the only reason I traded longer and I took this trade in my no trade zone is because we vomited 65 points. We started having evidence of laddering up. The risk of short covering was high, and I wanted to be long if possible. So I did it. Um, and done. I don't know why I deleted that. Okay, so backside with the trend there. And then nothing, nothing, nothing. Then you had a muddy, weak front side right here. There's no way I would have taken that trade. There's no way I would tell you to take that trade. Unless you really wanted to be long. I mean, I'm going to count it. Tuesday. No, no, actually, I was in the PM. PM, a weak front side. Um... A weak front side, no fair value gap. I'm going to say that was muddy. The best entry was the base. Um, I'm going to say it was wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Let's go to a one minute chart. How did that bounce? Okay, you had a pretty decent first bounce. Let's see how much did that bounce. And would you have been... Okay, more than two points, so... No way you should have taken profit. I would call that chop at this point. I'm going to call that profit. And let's go back to a three minute chart. I'm just going to circle this. Let's screenshot it. Try to get in here. Okay. Now let's mark this for our end of the day charts. Muddy, three minute, week. Front side is what I'd call it. All right. Um, you'd have to call this a break level. Submit this. All right, we got Tuesday PM week break level. It's a week break level because there's no backside. I kind of ain't even sure you. Uh, yeah, it's just I'm gonna call it muddy. Um. Best was at the base. It was a touch and go. Because that would have been the one you entered. Did it go five points? I'm going to say it had five point potential. I'm going to say it was chop. Profit. Five point potential. Okay, let's screenshot this. Actually, I'm, I gotta. I want to circle this because I'm just trying to make my life a little easier. 
in the future if I decide to look at these. Might as well record it right now while I'm here, right? Um, I gotta call that counter. Break. Counter. What do I call it over here? I said chop. But ladder, 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 it does a little pull. I, that's, I gotta say that's counter, actually. Counter. Okay, save. Comes down. I know I got a front side right here. So, so I got Tuesday. I got a strong front side because that became a. This is the back side. This became a front side, so that's a strong front side. Um, lad, I'm gonna call. Ugh. There's no difference between base and wick, so I'm not gonna mark that. I'm not really going to say we're in the sea of eight point candles, but you know what was? This trade was in the sea of eight point candles, and I need to go to my actual data chart and mark that on that about that backside. So let me come over here to my chart, backside, special situation. That was an eight point candle land. This one right here was eight point candle land. Now, um,. This is a front side, a strong front side. No difference between the base and the wick. This wasn't a fair value gap. Um, I forget about the backup levels. I need to go in over here and mark the backup levels too. Backup level. That back side had a backup level, yes. The break level, no. The weak front side, I'm going to say, yes. Had a backup bubble. Okay. Um, now let's come back in here. I'm, that was pretty much touch and go. How much did that, did he bounce? Okay, not five points, but you made profit. Chop. Profit. Screenshot it. Um, nothing else to note. Let's go submit. Now for our end of the day charts, let's denote this. Front side fair value gap. All right, did we leave any levels behind? Oh, there was this front side right here. I missed this one. Here's a weak front side. So Tuesday, PM, weak front side, because there was no backside development. Um, fair value gap. There, there was no difference there. Did it have a backup level? I'm gonna say no, because this break level is already tested. None of that created a break level. This was a touch and go. This was chop. This was profit. Did it go five points? Yes. Let's denote that. I might have to rescreen shot that. Uh, let me get a circle. Screenshot. All right, let's put that in there. Uh, no special situations. Bada boom, bada boom, perfect. Okay, so then price is shooting up. There was nothing here to trade. There was a backside here, way over here. I don't know what I just did. I want this tool. Okay, 
and you had a front side as a, a ugly front side as a backup, but you also had a brake level up here. So let's denote all of that. So this was Tuesday. This was during the, the final 30 minutes. Um, this was a backside. This was an affair value gap. This was an eight point candle line. In fact, the third eight point candle, there's no way I would have taken that trade, but I got a recording. I mean, the purpose of recording is how strong are these levels? Not even considering anything. Backside, boy, you needed the backup. You needed the backup level. I try to denote that total counter. Um, How did that behave on a one minute? It's hard to say you lost money on it. Touch, bounce. How much did that bounce? So the first touch bounce. Yeah, you didn't need the backup level actually. You didn't need the backup level. It was profit, it was not a five pointer though. Um, I'm gonna demark this was on a one minute chart. I wanted to see that so we also have a front side trade here that we'll record back side right there okay so now we've got tuesday a uh, strong front side because you had a back side so strong front side fair value gap a candle point land it was a doji though i hate dojis let's go to a three minute chart gotta count it though nothing different there yes it had a backup it had a break level um it was pretty much touch and go total counter and i got the eight points um, the it's also the final 30. Did I right here? Final 30. Gotta make sure I note that. You know what? And that last trade was the final 32. I need to make sure I denote that. I put first 30, but it was the final 30. Man, you gotta watch all that. Final 30, yep. Um, so this was the front side, fair value gap. It was eight point candle land. You did have a backup. It was touch and go. Um, it was profit. I'm gonna remove that for a second. Denote that, do this. Picture will tell me everything I need to know later. Yes, five point runner. I'll give it that. All right. Submit. Now let's go back. Let's reset our chart. All right. Front side, fair value gap. And this was a profitable trade. You got to drop in time frames and look at it. Backside, fair value gap. Did I delete this one? I don't know what I did. Front side, fair value gap. Um, we're in the final minute of trading. <laughs> this is why you shouldn't trade this final hour. Look at that. All right. So I'm going to raise that to here. It's a break counter. Way counter. Last 30. Last 
last 30. So this is the end of the day chart I'm going to post in the group. Um, this was front side fair value gap, no backup. Front side fair value gap, no backup. And so maybe you don't take it, you know. Um, I'm going to look at all these eight point candles. Just here, I think I got to come over here. Where do I put this? Let's go here. I don't need this. I'm not tracking half backs. Okay. So let's move you over here. Let's move you over here. I don't want to cover up. And I'm done with that tracking. I think I'm going to turn off the essentials. I'll turn off the micros. Let's go here. Um, I'll move you over here. I'll move you there. That's fine, I'll do that. And that was a break counter. No back up. That was a back side, that was a front side. Um, I'm not gonna count a break level in the final one minute. Look at that, retraced, look at that, that's just insane. That's the final short covering. This is what I would have hoped would happen over here, but it didn't. I mean, look at that. Unbelievable how they can destroy traders. I think that's the end of the day chart. So what I'm going to do, just for clarity, I'm going to come in here Tuesday, April 9th. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven for seven. Seven for seven. Trades today. Think about that. That's so cool. All right, let's go to 40. Here, let's make that a little larger. I'm going to turn off my strong levels. And if I was keeping that as a trade journal, I would keep on the strong levels just so there you have some data. All right. And now I'm going to save this. Three minute end of the day chart. I'm going to post it over there. Okay. I hope that was educational and fun.